Who are you? What do you want? An elderly Fort Worth woman coming face to face with an attacker, and there was nothing her dying husband could do except watch. Fort Worth police released video of this man who they say got into the home. On the department's Facebook page, they're calling it the lowest of lows. I want you to take a moment and take a good look at this guy. Police want him off the street, and they want him off the street fast. If you can help out, listen close. Marianne Martinez joining us with uh, details. I know you talked to the family tonight. Well, Doug, that's right. They tell us the truck was stolen from their front yard, but they know things could have been so much worse. Neither the husband or the wife were hurt. And I ask you, who are you? What do you want? Startled and scared, Susie Almanuti found this man in her Fort Worth home December 10th. The 83 year old was lying in a hospital bed in her living room. Next to her, her husband, John, who had just returned home from hospice care. She saw it. But he could not talk. She cried as she recounted how her dying husband watched the man ransack their home. Surveillance video shows him pushing their door in, left open for the hospice nurse they were expecting. The man searched the house until Susie tried to call 911 and her son for help. Susie says he walked over to her and tried to take the phone away, but she refused. Tell me your name. Who are you? What do you want? The intruder left with the keys to a Chevy Silverado. He had driven the pickup truck away by the time Susie and John's son arrived at the house. The son was panicked after getting a call from his mom. All I could hear was a, some sort of a struggle, uh, is what I could best explain it as. He arrived to find them scared but not injured. The day after the burglary, the husband and father, John Almanuti, died. It's also one of his last memories, I mean, assuming that he was... Not really cognizant, but um, yeah, we had a hard week last week. And Doug, as you can imagine, the family's hoping someone will see this, recognize the burglar, and turn him in. Now, the son tells us that he just happened to install the doorbell camera two days before this because he was trying to keep an eye on all the nurses that were coming in and out of the house to take care of his elderly folks. Doug? And thank goodness we have an image to go by. Marion Martinez, thank you.